Welcome to the very first video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. We're going to start with a creating a new character. We're going to play a gnome. Warlock, yes, yes. We're going to randomize a few times and uh, this looks fine. Let's do it. Um... Uh, we'll do that. That's fine. Got to disable all add-ons so we can actually watch the intro together. Otherwise, we won't be able to see the intro. Anyway, let's play. The eccentric, often brilliant gnomes are held as one of the most peculiar races of the world. With their obsession for developing radical new technologies and constructing marvels of mind-bending engineering, it's a wonder that any gnomes have survived to proliferate. Over the years, the gnomes have contributed ingenious weapons to aid the Grand Alliance in its fierce battles against the Horde. Thriving within the wondrous techno-city of Nomregon, the gnomes shared the resources of the forested Dumora peaks with their dwarven cousins. Yet recently, a barbaric menace rose up from the bowels of the earth and invaded Nomregon. Aided by their dwarven allies, the gnomes fought a valiant battle to save their beloved city. Nevertheless, Nomregon was irrevocably lost. The surviving gnomes fled to the safety of the dwarven stronghold of Ironforge. There they remained, devising strategies to retake their city. As a gnome of proud standing, it falls to you to answer the challenge and lead your curious people to a brighter future. I will do just that, don't worry. Okay, UI is set up, I think. Ah, well, aren't you a sturdy looking one? Perhaps you can assist me with a thing or two. Not much help around here except for green apprentices, and they've other things to worry about. <laughs> what do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm, HM. I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And, being the kind soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I've one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, HM. You bring me some wolf meat, and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? I say, okay. Let's make a macro. Let's put this on. Yeah, it looks quite right. Alrighty then, get some wolf meat. I mean, it doesn't really matter, just kill everything. I feel like in the early game, it's really good to farm, if that makes sense. Also guys, we're gonna play every single, like, class, I think. Not every single one, I'm not gonna play Paladin. The only one I won't play. Um, you guys will ultimately decide what we do play. Um, are we gonna play a rogue, a warrior? Like which which one are we gonna play to the max level? And by that, I'm gonna just test and see, like which series does better on the channel. So that's how we're gonna decide what we're gonna play. Give her max mana again. So we'll just auto attack until max mana. Obviously, during this time, as a May, uh, as a warlock, you'll be wanding. You won't just be attacking with your dagger. Also, I would like to get my pet as soon as we can. I don't know when you get your imp. Resist. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> so why gnome? Uh, the reason why gnome is because you get... Um, increased intellect. So there we go. 5% intellect increase. 
That is absolutely huge. That means you'll scale infinitely at, at max level. It is absolutely huge. I interrupted my cast. Uh, also, the demon skin gives us 40 armor and 3 health per 5 seconds. So you'll see also in combat, like, I'm healing, which is insane for Warlocks. So you want to use your health also. Use your health while you are regenerating mana. If that makes sense. Level 2, baby. And we also have a ticker that shows uh, when we get mana. It's built into the Alv UI. UI? <laughs> You just enable tickers, and on your mana, it will show the five second rule all the way down. And once it's down, it will tick. Uh, and every time it ticks, you will get mana. Need to kill one more wolf. Nope. Another one. Stabby, stabby, stabby. But yeah, one's early game is extremely strong. We don't have to go full mana. Still not done yet, dude. Still not done yet. What the heck? We got a new back piece, got a new chest, got a new bracer. Oof. That's a lot of crits, dude. How are we still not done? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Wow. Grind to level 2500. I'm close enough, dude. What's on your Ah, wonderful. The wolf meat should do nicely. Oh, don't worry, adventurer. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Here, one of these should fit you. Hmm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to do a favor for me, lass? A stack of letters came through the pass today, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talin Kenai. You can find him to the west down the road. He's set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? While you were helping me out, this memorandum was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the warlock trainer Alamar. Take a gander at it and go find him inside Anvilmar when you have a chance. And watch yourself, adventurer. Your kind ain't too trusted around these parts. Why not? I hope you're here to lend us a hand, adventurer. After the last trog attack, we could use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems Coldridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. And that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, lass. But we need strong arms to help drive the trucks back. Okay, we bought some drinks. Well, obviously I have to use this because... It's just so much faster killing while casting at this moment.
Okay, let's have a look at our skills. Um, we can get our first overtime cost. So I feel like overtime cost is best because... Yeah, we most probably will play Affliction, I think. Um, would be actually nice to get... Your pet to keep aggro off you. But yeah, you'll see Emulate Corruption Wand. And then you'll almost always remain full mana. And when you don't, you just use Life Tap, which we get at level 6. Uh, which is also pretty good. We get fear at level 8. It doesn't show when we get our imp though. Uh, we still don't have a bag. That's not cool, brother. 20 crit. Let me spank your ass with my little dagger. Gotta drink again. Okay, we get our health stone. At level 10. Some pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Warlocks is pretty fun to play. Once you unlock it. Right now it still feels like a mage, right? Because the mage right now would just be casting Frostbolt, I believe. I don't know where the trainer is, but at level 4 we want to go train, for sure. Wait, there's still Krugs to kill. Stabby, stabby. I assume the trainer is there by that question mark. Stab that. Bunny. Good news. Here they are. Thank you. I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Unfortunately, these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grelin Whitebeard. He's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. If I remember correctly, Grelin's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he'll be eager to get his mail. 
Nothing like a day of boar hunting, eh? Though here in Coldridge Valley, there are so many boars, it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently, there have been so many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you could help me kill some of the boars, I would appreciate it. Okay, we got new panties. Or new legs, sorry. Shoes, actually. It says don't go too far out of your way to kill the boars. We anyway don't have any free space anymore. Let's drink. It's just a lot faster. We have 70 copper, bro. Goodness. I'm at each speed. Uh, the cool thing about Warlocks is at whenever, I don't know what level it is, I think it's at level 40. Uh, you will get your mount for free. So the class don't really need much money, if that makes sense. So we can actually go into stuff like enchanting. Because enchanting is pretty expensive to get up. Instead of selling your greens, you'll be using that, you know? Inventory is full, but what's there? Stop resisting and accept me. Accept your punishment. is full again. Okay, we just need to level up so we can actually go and train. And get this bags empty again. Well, I wouldn't say bags, it's single.
I assume the trainer will be there. He has handed this quest. We should be level 4. We're gonna go train. We get out two overtimes. Which will be great. Excellent. I can go back to my leisurely hunting now. Thank you, adventurer. Excellent. I can go back to my leisurely hunting now. Thank you, adventurer. Okay, let's go train. Hopefully. And if we can get an imp already, that would be fantastic. I think it'll, it's a little bit too soon yet to get that imp. I honestly don't know what level it would be. But all I know is it's the highest priority you have. Because the imps is pretty strong. It increases your magic damage as well. And I think in a raid you want one person. Especially if you have a few mages. You want one person to have at least an imp out. I think the imp is the highest damage dealing. Uh... Let's just go here first. I think the imp is the highest damage dealing um, pet. If the problems we've had here are indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands, by Magni's beard, we have some troubles ahead of us. I can only hope that the king and senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the trogs pose. See you soon. All right. What can I do for you? You see, the guides we're following doesn't really take your class in consideration. I feel like Warlocks is useless without their overtime damage. Paladin Trainer. Armorsmith. We drove the trogs out of Gnome Regan, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradiated and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmorrow. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and bring them here to me, please? There we go, demon trainer. If your demon's more powerful, it'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the imp. What? You do not have a pet. Of course I don't have a pet. Can I help you? The arcane only corrupts those who are weak. Keep up on your training or you may find a similar fate. You must be the new warlock everyone's been whispering about. Must be someone's taken a liking to you if they've asked me to take time away from my research to start your training. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. The simplest of the summoning spells you will learn is that of the imp. Before I impart this to you, however, you must prove that you have the necessary magical and physical ability. Bring me three feather charms from the Frostmaid novices from the cave to the southwest. But none of that matters. What matters is that you've seen your own holy light. You know where power truly comes from. You realize that having our own allies is much more prudent. Special allies. Allies that, no matter the task, will obey till their last breath. And that's where I come in, adventurer. I can train you in the beginnings of those special powers. Seek me out often and I will do what I can to teach you more spells. Immo. So this will be cost immolate. And it should also be pet attack, right? Uh I think this just needs to needs to be copied. What the heck? Uh, 
And Shadow Bolt will also change. Uh, cost corruption. Yeah, we don't use Shadow Bolt anymore. So now what we'll do is we'll do this. And then we'll just dagger. So it will eventually become a cause sequence uh, to your um, what's it called? We can see now like how much damage we do, and it takes like zero mana. But eventually, it will become your bond afterwards. So after corruption, you'll wand. Yeah, now we kill literally with no issue. I'm remainful mana. So good stuff, good stuff. We want to get that imp as soon as we can also. Because that is like a huge upgrade for us. Great on me. Ah, excellent. It's been a while since I received word from Ironforge. My brother, Sunir, and I were sent to different parts of Don Maroc to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senate has its hands full with the trogs, so they've no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coldridge Valley, mostly the Southern Cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavor? I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Gah! I was supposed to get this delicious scalding morn brew to Dern and Furcutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now, but I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you can make it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes, and Donan didn't order chilly morn brew, so get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast, a settlement dug into the mountain. Thanks, adventurer, and don't forget to bring me back my mug. See, like another overtime would be fun. And we actually get one later. Curse of Agony, level 8. We unfortunately didn't have the money to buy Curse of Weakness. Dude, we still don't have a bag. This is now just getting ridiculous, bro, honestly. So we're full mana, full HP the whole time now. And using Curse of Agony will still remain full HP, full mana. So it's, it just takes a while to kill. Oh snap, sorry. And see you there. And I would like to do the inquest first, but I don't know what it is.
When do we get life drain? Drain soul. Where is life drain? So life drain is all the way down here, level 14. So you can actually add a shadow bolt to this uh, rotation also. I think if we get a new dagger, our damage would actually make sense. Because we'll kill them before the, like, as the ticks run off. Don't attack that one. It will multiple. So Curse of Weakness also is pretty strong. Uh, damage caused... Uh, damage caused by the target is reduced by 3 for 2 minutes. What was that noise? Okay, now we just run out of here. Oh wait, there's a journal thing we can get here. Dude, that's the three charms we need. Or imp. So we technically just ran the wrong way. We got a new belt. Well, we don't have one, so getting one is good. Teaches your imp blood pact. Oh yeah, your imp actually gives your whole raid more health. Whoa, we're running pretty low HP now. It's because of this. I just probably need to make a, a weak aura for that. Thank you. 
I think so far we're doing pretty good. Obviously, I would like to get a wand, but I think you could, the earliest you can get a wand is like level 8. I think. Oh, there's a charm guy. There's another one there. Oh, they're casting. Maybe we'll just allow S then. Let him cast. How insane is that, dude? We didn't get a charm, though. Maybe our inventory was full. Oh, we actually got one out of three now. So I don't know how we're gonna get this one because it's there's three enemies there. I don't even think I can get all all three uh debuffed enough. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. Okay, let's go get our imp, dude. We become like roughly two times stronger with an imp. Roughly, I would say. It's around that ballpark. You get more HP, you get an extra target that, um, extra unit that attacks. I interrupted it. Oh, by the way, I, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I was like, Affliction will also heal you. I don't think it's the case in Classic. I know it was the case in Burning Crusade. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude, I can't cost. Okay, we did it. Kinda scary. I got resisted. I feel like I should have just hauled out of here. So again, we're farming XP quite a lot.
All right. And we are out of here. Oh, we need to get this bucket also. Touch me. Okay, chill, dude. Ah! Those light blasted trolls! A group of them came in the night and stole my journal! I knew better than to trust that good for nothing APR. Ah! Those light blasted trolls! A group of them came in the night and stole my journal! Better than to trust that good for nothing APR. My yeah. journal! They took it away to the cave. The one that had it? It was a big brute with some odd markings on his skin and face. I didn't get a much better look than that. You've had some luck with the trolls. Maybe you could go get it back for me. Gah! I was supposed to get this delicious scolding morn brew to Dern and Fur Cutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now, but I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you can make it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes, and Donan didn't order chilly morn brew, so get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast, a settlement dug into the mountain. Thanks, adventurer, and don't forget to bring me back my mug. Okay. So he gave us a quest anyway to come here? Sell the finest cloth and leather garb this side of the valley. Ah, good. Now this will hit the spot. Allow me to take a small break while I enjoy this scalding morn brew. Now that hit the spot. Nothing like a piping hot, nay, scalding morn brew on a cold winter's day to warm your cackles of your soul. Here you go, adventurer. Be a pal and take this empty mug back to Nori for me, would you now? I sell the finest cloth and leather garb this side of the valley. Hmm, interest. Very good. Very good. You've done well, adventurer. Perhaps the interest that is being shown in you is deserved, after all. That'll be for the others to decide, assuming your imp doesn't overpower you and nip your career in the bud. For now, I'm satisfied that you'll probably survive your first few months as an adventurer. A word about the imp, adventurer. As a person knows, don't let its size fool you. Its magic can be very dangerous. Imp has to be inside. So there we go. Increase stamina by two. Wait, 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 wait. While we're here, let's just get Curse of Agony also. I don't know how often we'll use it, by the way. Because it takes away uh, your other... Arcane only corrupts those who are weak. Keep up on your training or you may find a similar fate. Yeah, we'll train this. Seeing you. It takes away your other... Um, curse later because you can only have one curse active and you have to choose curse of weakness or agony so weakness just makes the target weak for now and now we have to make sure that the macro works that our pet would attack if i cost it does Dude, look how strong we are now. Ridiculous. Okay, looks like we gotta go to the cave again. We'll just hand in this quest first. I remember also the problem with the imp is it runs out of mana, like, so fast in Classic. 
On retail, it never runs out of mana, ever. Great, excellent adventurer! You'd be surprised how many couriers I meet who forget to do something as simple as bring back the mug. Mugs don't grow on trees, or so they tell me. Here's a little something for the effort. Thanks again for your help. Actually, that mug is made from wood. Or at least that, that's what it looked like. Now we're gonna destroy them much faster. Okay. So the imp is out of mana. The problem is when the imp is out of mana, he just stands there. And that's why this is not the best pet for leveling. Good for burst damage, very bad for... ...multiples. So the pet we'll mainly use will be the Void, the Voidling. this with the wand. Oof, dude. The damage will be so good. The imp is your main pet when you play destruction, but we're gonna play... I don't know, it's between Demon or Affliction. I think I'm leaning towards Fli Affliction more. At least to make Corruption instant cost. And then whatever we can do to make the Voidling keep aggro off us. Because that will be the, the easiest way to level. Okay, there's the guy we need. I feel like it's a bit close. Is it one roaming? Dude, this is like a death zone right here. Okay, we'll get the imp to go full mana and then we'll do this. We just want to like get both. I think what we want to do is we want to aim to attack first. So that he would have aggro. Oh, didn't aggro the other thing. 
Dude, you almost one shot my imp. We didn't pull both, so that works for me. Uh, how strong are we now, dude? He's looking this way. What are we level eight? No, we're just level six. Life tap. Shadow Bolt level two. You see, that's the thing, right? If we go Affliction, we won't ever really use Life Tap. I think. Unless we kill multiple enemies. Kill multiple, let's see. Pretty easy stuff, isn't it? We are so strong. While we run, we could just like cost over time. experience <laughs> what can a wonderful adventurer many thanks for retrieving my notebook well it would seem that the troll situation here in Coldridge Valley is under control and not much cause for worry after I put the finishing touches on my report I'll need someone to courier it to my brother Sinier. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother Sinier with my report but I would feel much better were it placed in more Reliable hands. That is, of course, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm. You'll have to take the tunnel to get to Karanos. Speak with Mountaineer Thalos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with trolls now. Follow the road back to Anvil Mar, then keep heading east to the tunnel. Thalos is stationed nearby. Resist. Oh, resist, resist to the imp. We got the toolbox. Inventory is full. Broken aids. Need more inventory space.
We don't need that much water. Currently have twenty two water. And I bought it for like ten copper. And now it's just a waste. Alright, so we are done with the very first zone. Aldrich Valley is completed. Fifteen XP. Thirty XP. <laughs> nice way to just farm some XP. On, along the side. Wait until your corruption is instant cost, dude. Then it's really fast. Need a Huzzah! You found them! You're an absolute savior, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the trouble I've put you through. Thank you! I sell the finest cloth and leather garb this side of the valley. Off with you. Can't use the staff yet. Life tap. Uh, we're not going to use Shadow Bolt. Only corrupts those who are weak. Keep up on your training, or you may find a similar fate. So, if we're not going to use Shadow Bolt, there's no need to train it. Okay, we're going to the next zone now. What sort? Mm, well, if Whitebeard is sending you to Dunmoroth on important business, I can't very well stop you, can I? At least let me provide you with some advice and directions. The trogs in the tunnel are extremely hostile and haven't shown any hesitation in attacking travelers through the tunnel. You seem tough enough, though, so you should probably be safe. Directions? If you're going to speak with Sinir, you'll find him in Karanus. Make your way through the tunnel, and after you come out on the other side, just keep following the road. It'll run right into Karanos. Hey! You look like a hardy adventurer. If you're planning on braving the pass, do you suppose you could bring a package to the inn in Karanos? You were planning on stopping at the inn, right? If you make it through the pass, you'll definitely want to take a breather there. Anyways, bring this to Tannic Frosthammer, the innkeeper's assistant. I can't get through the pass myself, and it'll be days until a mountaineer escort comes through. 
Dude, we're just smashing right now, dude. This is insane. Honestly feels like a breeze, dude. still don't have a bag. You know, my warrior is full bags, bro. <laughs> without, uh, without buying anything on the auction house. My rogue, I had to buy three bags. We at least got one. Do we go tailoring or enchanting? By the way. I feel like it has to be enchanting, right? Since if you play a warlock, you don't need green items. Because at level 40 you get a mount for free. Where with a mage, you'll have to buy a mount. They have charge now. Should keep looting though. Might get better stuff. All right, into the next zone. No Morganas there. Hmm. That's when I stop playing uh, Season of Discovery. When No More Gone was the highest dungeon to do. Loot. Just disable it here. Since we have an add-on that will that will, that will display it. No need to double display the same thing we're getting. A level eight bear. Okay, guard. Did you just steal my experience? What a bitch. First of all, I, I thought it was a player. So I think what we'll do is we'll get corruption instant cost first, and then we're gonna look into letting our pet keep aggro, if that's possible. So we'll have to make our voidling stronger to do more damage. What's this? Ah, my brother's report. Hmm. I told him to be sparing with the use of the king's name, but he didn't listen. No harm, I suppose, though it's sure to ruffle some feathers in the Senate. Not that those weren't some feathers that needed ruffling. Ha -ha! Nonetheless, I guess that means that I should send my report on to Ironforge as well, but I must admit I'm a bit behind. Bloody cold. I should have some work for you later if you're interested. 
Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer-basted boar ribs. Only problem is, the local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the King's army to help with the war on the Alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me six crag boar ribs and a rhapsody malt from the tavern here, I'll give you the family recipe for my famous beer-basted boar ribs, not to mention a free sample, the secrets in the malt. Ah, at last, the supplies from hands. I was beginning to worry. We've had scarce word from Anvilmar ever since the trogs overran the pass. Thanks for bringing this to me, adventurer, and please, make yourself comfortable. You must be tired after your journey. Can't even afford a bag, bro. Safe travels. Not that I should buy it here. I mean, it's three silver in the auction house. Belden Steel Grill owns the local mechanic shop, and he's the best siege engine tech there is. But he's not forgiving to his tools. I swear he almost breaks more arc light spanners than we can supply him with. We just filled his last order for tools. If you deliver it to him, I'm sure he'll make it worth the effort. His shop, Steel Grill's Depot, is just northeast of Karanos. And it's a local haunt for veteran siege engine pilots, so keep your ears open for opportunities while you're there. Keep your feet on the ground! Well, that would be hard to not keep my feet on the ground, dude. Thank you for that motivational speech, Tango. is half health. Every now and then the imp just takes a hit for me. That's that's pretty cool. So here's where we get the mounts, but we'll... I'm preparing to start a mission for the Siege Brigade. It's a long one, and I need to stock Jet Steam with a month's worth of supplies. So while Steel Grill is working on my tank, can you do some hunting for me? I'll need some fur for bedding, and boar meat for food. You can get meat from boars and fur from the bears. You can find them both in the snowfield south of the Grizzled Den. Driving a siege engine isn't for everyone. It takes an iron grip and nerves of steel. Lucky I have both. How about you? How's your metal? Wanna prove it to me? Well, looking to make my engine, troll plow, a little more cosy. How about you get me a heap of Wendigo mains from the Grizzle Den, west of Karanos? Those mains will make a great run for troll plows inside the egg. Hegna Rumbleshot sells guns off the road to Anvilmar. Rifleman and mortar team spend a lot of time practicing out near his shop, and he's always needing fresh ammunition. But the last crate of ammo I sent him got lost along the way. My courier said he was camped near the grizzled den when Wendigo chased him away, and the fool left Rumbleshot's ammo behind. Adventurer, can you get that ammo and take it to Rumbleshot? He's been waiting on it, and I'm sure he's running low. You have my tools. Well done, lass. Well done. I just broke my last fang ratchet an hour ago, and I need one of those to finish repairs on Pilot Stone Gear's siege engine. You did a good thing by lugging those tools here, adventurer. Here, take these coins for your help. I don't want coins. I want bags, bro. Who knows? Useless coins. Oh shit.
Are we just dead? I think we're just dead. I'm hoping my pit will pull aggro. That's why I'm running around my pit. Oh my goodness, that was close. My pet got aggro after I don't even know how long. They just keep coming, bro. Is it a glitch? My pet died. That thing got aggroed so far away, it's stupid. You ran from fucking there, buying that that bridge there at the back, all the way to me, because he heard my little imp walk. Yes. Now it feels like all of a sudden we're lacking damage again. Come on, Imp. Goodness, stop being useless. Okay, maybe now we'll be stronger, I don't know. Unless you don't think so, but we'll see. Is this where the Wendigo is?
is one hiding behind the pillar. What the heck? Dude, how much would a wand cost? I honestly feel like we need a wand now. Um, we got the new food. Fifteen spirit and fifteen stamina. But we still have zero out of eight. Holy bro. Still zero out of eight. I killed like six of them already. to life to have. This guy is having a blast, bro. He's here for all the leather you can dream of. Yeah, we need to check when we can get our new pet. Oh no, don't, don't stop. Ah! The imp died. Could have killed them if we had instant, uh, instant curse, but we don't, so...
So damage increases only at level 10. So many people. Curse of Agony is at level 8. That's actually our increase in damage. Then we have our first curse that does damage insta cost. We're gonna clear out this whole place and still won't be done with the quest. Or does it just feel that way? We got a chest. Destroy. Hey. The Skinner is missing out on a lot of Yetis to skin, dude. Or Wendigo. Speaking of Wendigo... I need to... I need to still cover... Uh, Until Dawn on PC. No, no, no. Stop. Oh, 
Oh fuck, we're dead. I think we're dead. Okay, we're okay. Goodness, bro. We do need our other pet. And I think... Oh, shit. I think you only get the other pet if uh, if you get shards. So shards you can only get at level ten. Drain soul. Chess piece. Level seven. Need to add this also. Because the red text coming up the whole time is so annoying. Level 8, we get our big damage buff, I would say. Because then we have all three overtimes. Because right now you can see it's still happening. Our overtime is running out. Our overtimes is running out. Uh, the dots is running off before it dies. And that just means that you can't kill more than one. But once that uh, is not the case, you can actually kill more than one enemy at a time.
But I honestly don't think we'll be able to do it with an imp. Dude, how do we get out of here? Okay, dude. So I just thought I'm helping. There's something to grab here. I think we just need to go clear our inventory a bit. But I also would like to reach level 8 before we go there. Because level 8 is a huge buff or increase for us. But inventory is full, so what am I supposed to do? We also do get fear. Uh, which will help even more. Stop resisting, my buddy.
The arcane only corrupts those who are weak. Keep up on your training, or you may find a similar fate. I wish the snow would just all melt away. It's always getting my robe wet and messing up everything. Want to make your demons more powerful? Wow. It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. So we got... At level 8, we get fireball increase for the impulsor. And we found the trainer, so that's pretty cool. Cooking is a lifelong pursuit, and I see we share the same passion. Can't help you, adventurer. I only train rogues. Well, I'm looking for just a random vendor. <laughs> I assume my inventory will be full. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. my report and could use your help adventurer i just managed to find where the trolls are holed up but i saw so many trolls i was afraid to go in here's what i need go down to the cave poke around inside kill a few of the trolls then come back here take the road north out of karanos when you get to the bridge follow the frozen river west until you reach ice flow lake you'll find brunel village on the west bank the hold is southwest of the village Dude, I honestly think we should just uh, go check how much a wand is. Upon further analysis of the Nomerigan situation, it would appear as though we not only failed to eradicate the trogs, but we also happened to turn most of the gnomish race into horrific, mindless, evil doing leper gnomes. Ozzy and I plan to reverse the horrible leper effect with our latest invention the recombobulator. The machine is almost complete, but we are in dire need of some restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic keys. Retrieve some from the leper gnomes out front of Gnome Regan for us. It's like a wonder's a huge upgrade, and the Curse of Agony is also a huge upgrade. But the one takes no mana. And instead of doing one to five damage with my dagger, what? Ah, uh, yes, these mains. We'll do triple that. You show a lot of grit, adventurer. I wager we'll see great things from you. Maybe not triple. Maybe uh, ten times that. I would spend like all my nine silver I have, dude, on a on a wand. I don't think it's gonna be that expensive, but we'll see. A 
And we set our hearth, so we'll hearth back. Yeah, I have to make a weak aura for the shield. It could cost me my life if uh, if we don't have it active. I think the auction house is right here. It's the banker. What do you need directions to? Where is the auction house? Why, it's right by the gates of Ironforge as you enter our fine city. You'll find it just across from the vault. Okay, let's see her. Um, wand. Let's just search wand. Really? It's seven silver. I don't know. Uh, shopping wand. Four, f like five silver wand. Requires level nine. It's this one, right? It has to be. That's all our silver gun. Okay, so shoot. So macro. So now it will become not cost, but cost sequence. Uh, reset, reset equals um, our target. Comma five. Let's just say two. And then it's corruption, comma, exclamation point, shoot. Oh yeah, I should have half. So now after corruption, we should just use the wand. And we should be roughly three times stronger now. Maybe four. Let's see. Does it work? It does. No, it doesn't. Uh, it's because we have a start attack. We should remove a start attack. Macro. Wait, it should be here also. Start attack should be removed.
Give me a second. Okay, so after testing, this is what we came up with. It's cost sequence equals target, combat, five. And then corruption, shoot, and then null. Uh, the reason for the null is because you want to cancel. You want to not use anything after the wand. Okay, it doesn't work. Look at that damage, bro. I just have to get this macro to freaking work. Okay, I think it works now. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it does. Yeah, boy. Let's check again. We also leveled up, by the way. Doesn't it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It's so weird. Because like it's it worked before, now it's just stopped working. I... Okay, looks like it works now. I keep saying that. Nope, look at that, it costs again. And costs corruption again. What the heck, bro? Now it wants. You know what it can be? Combat. What the fuck? It just repeats corruption, corruption, corruption. When there's clearly a fucking macro. Now it works.
Uh. Now it fucking doesn't work again. Okay, looks like it works now. So what was missing was no channeling double point shoot in brackets. Let's see. Yeah, so now it works perfect. Goodness. Got to make me angry first, huh? Let's go handle this quest. We're also level 8 now. So we can get agony. Now it doesn't fucking work again. What can I take now? Rumble shot at your service. Great, more ammo. Old Lost Lord's shipment finally came through. The ammo might be late, but just like my granddaddy used to tell me, late's better than never. Thank you much, adventurer. I already have buyers eager for this stuff. Yeah, it just stopped working again. How is it even possible? Something that works just like fucking don't work after you use it twice. I give like three steps and then the macro doesn't work. Out of the blue. And I think I have this macro saved on another gameplay. On another server. It's weird that it's not here. I went through all of them, I think.
Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Nope, it caused corruption the fucking old time. And I, I, I went on my season of discovery and I got it from there. So this is the macro I used for, for that. And it just doesn't work. I wonder why though, it's so stupid. Dude, my gardener is here three times a week, and the dogs still go mad when they see him. Well, I wouldn't say dogs, it's just one. The other one is blind, so doesn't know what they're barking at. So what, I just can't wand? Is, is that what I'm seeing here? Because the macro doesn't work. But it has to be the game, right? It's not it's not me. It it has to be the game. Let's remove the exclamation point. Nope, it still doesn't work. <sighs> what could it be? Let me just spam the button, see if it eventually does want. See, it just doesn't want ever. Take the reset out. Oop. We put the exclamation point in. My goodness, okay, it looks like we got it working again. Wow, it just, just wowed it. <laughs> so for you guys that are interested in it, um, so this is how it looks like. Car sequence, reset equals target, combat. Nope, the combat needs to go out, it needs to be one. Uh, I think I had start attack there or something, and that made it not work. 
Warlock trainer. Arcane only corrupts those who are weak. Get curse of agony. You may find I can't learn anything else, dude. Right. Oh man, we're so poor. Buy a belt from the innkeeper. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. Buy Rhapsody Malt. Be good. How are the malt is brewed? The boars are dead. Before all is done and anything said, we will have to fight for first dibs on these savory beer basted boar ribs. Not a single bag on this character yet. Great, my Magni's beard. You sure did a lot of hunting. Thank you, adventurer. Read your old barley brew experiments with his brews. Some of them taste good, some bad, and some, well, some will lay all but the stoutest dwarf flat. He lives at Brunol village, west of Karanos, and one of his drinks, Evershine, is what I want. It'll help keep me warm while I'm on the cold road. And the blessed stuff burns so hot I can throw it in Jet Steam's furnace for a burst of power. That little tactic has gotten me out of more than one tight spot. All right, then, guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.